This makes me nervous. This seems like marauders. Oh, hey, look, bad guys. <laughs> Greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome to Enshrouded, a game of survival, crafting, and action RPG combat set within a voxel based continent. The game takes place in the lands of Embervale where the greed for magical power has unleashed a deadly shroud that consumes, corrupts, and kills all those who are trapped within. In this game we play as the Flameborn, the last hope to push out the darkness and rebuild the Fallen Kingdom. Rebuild in a literal sense because we can in fact build whatever we want lads. It has been said that this game is much like Valheim if Valheim was on steroids. Also, we can in fact play this game together. With up to 16 friends, we can jump straight into the fantasy combat and build mighty castles and strongholds in which to house our characters and any NPCs we pick up along the way. Anyway lads, go ahead and strike that like button for me, and if you are new, feel free to hit the subscribe button, and pretty please help us get our community to 10,000 Knights of the Order. Also, a huge shout out to our channel members, both new and returning, and as always, I hope you enjoy the video. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The Shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. It's us. Now, your time has come. Awake. That was cool. That was pretty cool. Here we go, lads. Awaken Flameborn. Nice. All right. So we we've got like a an action bar down here. Sheltered, warmth, comfortable. So we're not very warm. I wonder if I get closer to the fire, will it say I'm warm? No, it doesn't, okay. That's fun. All right, so left shift is to sprint, not bad. The cinder vault. Ooh. Whoa, holy shit. Commune with the flame. You've slumbered for too long, Flame. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okie dokie. I can do that. This is going to be very interesting, lads. I, I don't do many, like, let's plays type stuff. Uh, but this one is, is certainly going to be a let's play. Does my... I was about to say, does my stamina not regen? That's crazy. Reach the plains. Wow, this place looks nice. Yeah, not bad. The environment is very, very well done, I think. Reach the plains. Is there a map? There sure is. Plans, planes for the first base. Got it. We're already getting the first base. Stop. A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I to navigate to the map and track your discoveries. Excellent. This should be interesting. 
Thanks. Uh, is there... Oh, there's a journal. Let me get rid of my face. On the flame and its murmurs, pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protects it in a flaming core. Wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours, seeking answers, a whisper, but I hear none. Despite possessing a voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have quite enlightened conversations. Balthazar. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting, lads. Turn the game, thank you. Uh, the urge to just jump. It is all part of the Let's Play experience, is it not? Um, I kind of want to take a look around, but at the same time, I doubt there's actually anything here for us to loot or utilize right off the bat. From what I understand, this is exactly like Minecraft. You can just go out and start punching shit. I, I assume it's going to take a while. There we go. Yeah. Nice. We got some recipe unlocked. A shield. Nice. Give me some more wood, damn you. I did it. My first enemy has been taken down. I am the enemy of the trees. I am flameborn. Fear me in my flames. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Comfort, level one. Very nice. Hey, look. Aha. I have a torch. I can smack shit with it. That's pretty cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty convenient. Uh, there's a couple of ways down here. Nice. Honestly, who needs ladders? Ladders are for chumps. What's in here? I wonder. Aha! I knew it! I love how I just kick it open. I'll take that and some bandages. Love that. Lovely. All right, let's get a move on, lads. I don't know how long this first part is going to be, uh, but I assume pretty decently far until we can get like some, some gear, maybe start some building, fight some enemies, do shit like that. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Got it to replenish. Aha. This one died. That's a shame. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm being honest. Damn, the spin move. Yeah, look at that. Man's hitting him with a combo wombos. I don't think there's anything in there. I am enshrouded currently. I've got five minutes. Tab to lock on to foes. Control to dodge out of harm's way. Oh, you're an ugly looking thing. Nice. I've got a sword now. Lovely. I think I'm going to stick with the some of my torches for now. Yeah, just for now. Just because that seems to be really effective against these things. These uh, shroud monsters, if you will. This is interesting. I'm actually already really enjoying this. Uh, which is odd, considering, uh, I know absolutely nothing about this game. But, I will say, too, I did also enjoy, uh, what's it called? Uh, The Fall of Avalon. I forgot what that, that game was called. If you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. Is this my return beacon? Is that what this is? So if I die anywhere out there in the world, I'll come back to this one until I find another. Or perhaps there's gonna there's gonna come a time when I can, you know, craft my own, place my own. Now it looks like there's stuff here, an encampment, obviously. It's pretty interesting. Long keep, doing something right. While equipped with a shield and melee weapon, press the right mouse button to block. A well-timed block will parry the attack. Lovely. Can I not take this sword? That's unfortunate. Can I take this sword? I cannot. Can I? I can't take any of these weapons. That's awful. That sucks. Ah! Oh. 
I got wands. Wands and bones. That's pretty cool. Can I punch this sword? I, I can punch it, but I don't think it's going to do anything. More bones. I wonder what I can do with these bones. I don't mean to, like, disrespect the dead, but I'm also flameborn. So the concept here is that I have no idea what I'm doing, which is pretty obvious, I think. Give me your armor. That's unfortunate. The Captain's Journal, Day 1. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the Ancient One before he entered with a handful of our best warriors. It was the first time I'd seen one of his kind, and I expect it will be the last. His face is burned in my mind. My life and those of my remaining soldiers are pledged to this sacred duty. Captain Arkwright. Very interesting. I do enjoy uh, a tad bit of reading when it comes to the, the lore of stuff. And uh, I don't know, it's very well written, if I'm being honest. Like, you can tell they're written with uh, different characters' voices and everything. And that's kind of a, a hard thing to achieve, you know? But I think this game does a pretty good job of it. But, like, there's no, you know, weapons or armor for me. Just get. <gasps> that's a rat! Oh my god! Yeah, fuck off, mate. Jesus came out of nowhere he did oh you got buddies huh it really is a shame that i can't take any of this stuff but i i assume it's because it's all like rusted like it, it won't be effective regardless yeah see because even if i destroy it it's not gonna drop the uh the gear or anything like that what is that purple substance hey look a pelt that's cool Alright, got stuck in the, the chair for a second. That's fine. It seems there are chambers up here. Aha! Don't leave my side. Jasmina, is it true? The ancients call upon you to stay behind as the rest of us slumber. Will you be there when I awake? Please, you cannot leave my side. You're my all. Why must we change? I miss the old days when we used to travel together, side by side. You let me linger next to you. You held my hand, and now, all this secrecy, for what? I thought you could confide in me. I don't want the ancients to drive us apart. I'll lose all faith. If you must go, at least give me a farewell kiss. All my heart, Emily. Damn, that's actually, uh, that's pretty sad. I'm sorry she had to leave you. I love that. Just fucking wrecked everything in one swing. That was cool. Alright, it, it really does seem like there's not shit over here, so I'm going to be on my way. Uh, I don't think I can go this way. Or maybe I can. Maybe I can just, like, drop. Maybe that's the whole point. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm enshrouded in here. Uh, not gonna lie, I don't want to read all that. Just because I'm out here in danger zone. That's rocks. That's cool. Nice. Getting, like, shroud samples, I suppose. Oh, shit. I don't know what's down in there. I don't know what's in here. Nothing. Yeah, they kind of, they got my ass. They got me good. The big doors, you know, the big doors. It was hard to say no. Dude, there's so much stuff around here. A good night's rest. I wonder if I can, if those are all in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all in the journal. Interact with campfires to cook or sit near them with X to become rested in the wild. I don't have anything to cook. I don't think. Oh. Yeah. And I don't need any kind of healing. There are some resources around here. Looks like there's wood here. We got lots of wood. Love that. Aha! A chest. I got some wooden arrows and another bandage. That's perfect. Hey, look. More wood. I can collect herbs as well. Lovely. Twigs, plant fiber. That's yeah, a little rabbit. I'm not going to go chasing the rabbit, just because I doubt I'll be fast enough to take her. 
Water is a great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate it faster. Thanks. I will gladly take some water. Oh my god, I've got f six fucking things of water. That's epic. Huge. I'm also in the shroud once again. Uh. Hang on now. There's so much exploring to do. There's literally so much exploring to do. This is uh, this is gonna be pretty cool, lads. But <laughs> I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna get lost just uh, exploring shit. Now what is down here? I wonder. The shroud looms. Oh my, we're out here in a fucking dungeon, lads. That's disgusting. I don't want to know what that is. Metal scraps, plant fiber, and water. And torn cloth. Lovely. Beat it up. Aw, oh, man, there's a... What's it called? I'm like extra shrouded now. Oh shit, got a blast. Yeah, we're out here in the shroud, boys. Damn. Hey, look, four stones. Lovely. Yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. This is actually going to be pretty cool. I'm already uh, really excited for <laughs> what this adventure has in store for us, lads. But, now that we're done exploring these ruins... Oh, there's a fucking wolf over there. Are you fucking serious? Isn't that some shit? I wonder if I cannot uh, craft some arrows out of those. Got some mushrooms. I assume these will help do something. Hey, look. A spot. A spot for a thing and a place. Yeah, we're going to be pretty danger close to enemies all the way through this game, I can imagine. So, location reached. Uh, now what? Build a flame altar. Got it. Let me do some crafting. I, I can't craft a workbench just yet. I need strings, that's why. But I can craft a uh, flame altar. It's cool. A construction hammer to enter building mode. I will gladly build that. Off plant fiber makes strings. Epic. I can get a pickaxe. What do I need here? I need more twigs and more stone, which I can do. Uh, torches, shields, club. Nice. A wand. Ah, and some rags. Epic. Yeah. Not bad. So I need I need more string, which means I need plant fiber, and I need stones and twigs. That's going to be pretty epic. Not bad, dude. Alright, so we have inventory items. Can I equip this? Actions. Equip. Fuck yeah, dude. Excellent. Ah. Fucking cool, dude. Alright, so let us place our flame altar just right here in the center. Why not? Commune with the flame. You are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. Excellent! Extend its building range. Ah, so the altar, the the flame altar, essentially pla places down where we can build shit. That's pretty cool. It's almost like the the campsite from Fallout 76. You know, you place your campsite and then you can build shit within a certain radius of your campsite. That's pretty cool. Extinguish the flame to remove your flame altar. Beware, areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. Placed items will be lost. I see. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, it's gotten dark. Yeah, it's gotten dark really fast. Oh, there's a lighthouse over there. That's interesting. But for now, I will settle for, like, harvesting. <laughs> Shit. Oh, dude. runes from that not bad not bad so when nighttime comes obviously the shroud monster demons 
can come out, you know, out of the shroud, obviously. Which makes only too much sense. Uh, but for the time being, let us get to some harvesting and gathering and whatnot. There seems to be things in here. We need stones. I wonder if I can't harvest some shroud liquid. Hello, lovely. Yeah, this is going to be very... I'm extra enshrouded now. We got a blast. Oh shit, no, no, oh no. Up the stairs, you fool. Get out of the shroud. Thank God. I feel like I need a, there's gotta be an option. There's gotta be an option to place like a, a waypoint on your map for like home, right? Yeah, cool. So I, I can just keep the waypoint on my, uh, on my campsite while I go out exploring. That way I always have like a compass pointed home. Hello, lovely. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I, I assume when my weapons break, that's kind of, it's kind of it for them until I can either craft new ones or find new ones, obviously. This is definitely going to be an interesting game, lads. I need stones. Give me the stones. Perfect. It's a nice clear night out. Yeah, there's like, there's these weird towers and beacons. There's like the big castle where I came from. Yeah, there's this big tower that's interesting. Cool, so I, I assume the axe is where I can get more wood logs. Almost took all of my stamina to get that done, but totally worth it. Not bad. Lots of good stuff. And then obviously like big rocks and shit I would need a pickaxe for. So let's head back to our uh, our flame. Uh, pickaxe, yes. Let me get a pickaxe. I need lock picks. Metal scraps. I need one more of those. Well, I want to make a wand. It's a mid-range weapon, so I can use ranged attacks at some point i need more string i need three string to be exact one oh okay so let's find some more plant fiber it takes three plant fiber to make one string and i need three strings to make this workbench which is fine two plant fiber four plant fiber see perfect i love it when things work out lads this is already such a cool fucking game dude like i know, I know this game's been around for a while or, you know, games like this have been around for a while. But this is... This is pretty cool, dude. I'm actually really enjoying myself right now. I can make a bow. I need more string. Ah! Alright, more string, which means more plant fiber. Yeah, I'm not I'm not running into this game uh, all headstrong and cocky. You know, I'm, I'm going to take my time and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I'm well prepared for this adventure, lads. Let's get some more stones. I assume there's a weight limit. I can't just carry everything, every resource in the world. I do like how I can carry a lot more than uh, in like Ark and shit like that. Like at this point, I would have been way over encumbered uh, already. So at least there's that. At least there's that working out for our favor. Which is not bad. I know I don't have to keep traveling back to my flame to start crafting shit, but I'm going to do that anyway. Torches, pickaxes, campfires, club shield, bow. Thank you very much. Wooden arrow. See, I knew it. Yeah, give me some bows. All right, not bad. I have 79 arrows, dude. I'll take it. I can place a workbench now. Lovely. I can craft and repair. Aha. Rough stone block, rough wood block would take two to make a hundred of these that's crazy ah oh, that's pretty cool construction hammer survival interesting a glider ah oh, damn shroud wood string grappling hooks string metal scraps interesting manual crafting 
It says I can uh, repair items. How do I repair items? E is to craft and repair. Oh, my backpack. That's how. Oh, it's already repaired. <gasps> Yo, that's pretty cool. Cool. That's that's actually pretty cool. So I hold, I have my bow and my arrows equipped, right? But I have, so I can have my sword and shield. But then if I hold Q, it immediately starts drawing. And then I can right click to shoot. That's pretty fucking cool, dude. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, shit. Ho -ho. Come at me, pup. Nice. Bad dog. I missed. Ho -ho -ho. Nice. See, now I can start collecting uh, animal pelts and shit a little more effectively. If only I could shoot a little more effectively, but alas. Nice, and now I've got some food. It doesn't seem like I'm hungry. I don't know if, like, hunger is a thing in this game. I know that food is probably pretty essential as, like... Yeah, this is where I'm heading. Uh, as far as, like, uh, healing goes, I know uh, that's why I'm bringing, like, the campfire and everything as well. Just in case, lads, just in case. Let's collect some more stones just while we're on the way. God damn. There's so much shroud. Look at the red shroud over there. I don't know if that's like red shroud or if it's just the way it's colored because of the biome. But this is impressive. This is very impressive. I can sleep. Cool. Yeah, so I, I started using this uh, pickaxe and I realized it's not just for stones. I can literally terraform. Like I'm digging into the ground. That's That's pretty fucking cool, man. This game is pretty in-depth, dude. That's... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if I still can't use it on. Yeah, there we go. See? Ah, oh, that's awesome. How epic. Anyway. So, I am kind of made it to, like, this bridge. And, uh, I know there's a grappling hook that I can craft, but I don't have enough metal parts. Or metal scraps, I mean. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure how to get more, if I'm being honest. Because I think, yeah, the grappling hook's going to be pretty in, uh, seek a path through the shroud instead. Damn it. Yeah. Alright, time to seek a path through the shroud, lads. What was that? Oh, arrows. A scrap arrow. I'll take it. An arrow's an arrow. Damn, dude, this is going to be pretty interesting. Also probably pretty tough. But... It looks like there's stuff in here. Yeah, more wooden arrows. Lovely. Captain's Journal, day 20. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge, and with it, our connection to supplies. But it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cinder Vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death, Captain Arkwright. See, now that makes me nervous, because that means he's probably traveled into the shroud and became consumed by it. So either we're going to find his body, stay on the path lest the shroud's kin take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. Alright, stay on the path, it says. God, yeah, see, there's encampments already. But which path do I take, I wonder? For there are several. Hey, look. Hey, I found a ring. Cool. I am the Lord of the Rings. A rusty short sword. I'll take it. Hello, Captain? Captain Ark Wright? Are you still alive after all these years? Ooh, that's not good. Nice. 
This hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. It's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. Lovely. Raylan Bridge. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna meet the captain. Either his corpse or whatever he turned into, lads. Yeah, I'm sure there was more stuff over there for me to search, but oh shit. Damn, drop your spear. Give it to me. Oh, that's all right. Get nervous, lads. Oh, I think I've made it. Oh, lovely. Ow. Damn, that took a lot of health. Holy shit. Uh, let me use my number six. There we go. Oi. Jesus. On the road. Yeah, there's the Braylon Bridge. This makes me nervous. This seems like Marauders. Rookmore, it says. No metal scraps for me yet. No, just love the wood. Metal scraps. There we go. See, now, now I think I can craft that, uh... Oh, the grappling hook. I need I need to craft it at what's it called? The uh the damn workbench. Damn. I really did that to myself, didn't I? Oh hey, look, bad guys. Holy shit! Holy shit, that's not good. No, oh come on. Yeah, this is awful. Oh, I'm gonna get sick from that. Food poisoning. Yep, that's awful. If the marauders don't kill me, the food poisoning will. God, of course they have archers. Ooh. Yeah, I may have fucked up here, lads. Oy. Yeah, that's that's tough. Those guys are tough. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get past them, if I'm being honest. Shit. Holy shit, dude. My god. One of his buddies are still here. I know one of them got stuck on this tree. I hate how it said salvation is straight ahead. First of all, fuck you, liar. Could have warned me about the, the damn marauders. Yeah, how the hell am I supposed to get up there now? I'm probably just going to have to run like straight through if I'm being honest, which kind of sucks. And I'm almost out of bandages too. Jesus. Um, yeah, Rookmore. Find the sleeping survivor. Damn it. I kind of want to go back to camp. 
Because then, right, hear me out, I can craft... Oh, where's my... Yeah, my camp. Home. Fast travel. <gasps> Bro, perfect. What the hell? Yeah, because now I have those metal scraps. All I got to do is make some more string and, uh, and I can craft the grappling hook. All items repaired. Bro, fucking perfect. Uh, grappling hook. Yeah, I need seven string, which I can do. Five, six, seven. Perfect. Last one for good luck. All items repaired. Thank you very much. Grappling hook. Thank you. Jesus. Shortcut. Lovely. I'm going to equip this ring. Gives me plus 10 health and plus 8 to my uh, stamina. That's interesting. I'm going to equip that grappling hook. Now I wonder how I can use this grappling hook. Only one way to find out, lads. And that's to get back into the adventure. Can I, uh, I wonder if I can rest. Um, hold on. Let me, let me try some shit real quick. Interesting. The makings of my house, lads. <laughs> I'll probably do some more building uh, off of the video. Alrighty, lads. Day two of recording. Oh my god. I don't like that. I don't like what's happening right now, so I'm gonna hide inside. Oh shit. Uh, I don't like how dark it got. What is happening? It's not normally this dark in this game, is it? No, 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 no. That's most certainly not. I didn't like how dark it got. Yeah, I didn't. I don't like that. That was scary. Um. <sighs> yeah, that was pretty terrifying. So I'm gonna hide inside. Uh, but yes, I did in fact build an inside to my actual house. So thank God for that. Um, this is the uh, the keep, the Lord Commander's keep. And there is an upstairs where we can, uh, you know, chill out and keep an eye out on things. I should have put my workbench inside, if I'm being honest. But honestly, it's fine. So let's go to crafting. Can I craft another workbench? Cannot. I need string and wood wood logs, which I don't have. Which sucks. Um, do I want to put a campfire outside? Actually, I have one in my inventory. I forgot about that. Yeah, campfire. Let's, uh, use... Yeah, let's place this, like, right in the center. Yeah, there we go. It's almost like a lighthouse in here now. I like that. I hope it doesn't catch my wooden house on fire. God, that would suck. Anyway, lads, uh, let's get some cooking done real quick. Do we have anything that we can cook? Not in our inventory. Yes, we do, actually. Yeah, nice. Grilled lean meat. Super cool. I believe that is it. We can't really... Oh. I ate something. Uh, which is cool. Um, yeah, things seem to be going well for us here so far. Uh, I'm actually very quite excited to see what this adventure has in store for us for day two of recording this, uh, this one episode. Ugh. Um, also, I do apologize that it is uh, Tuesday that you see in this episode. It wasn't my intention to make this a Tuesday episode, but, uh, you know, just busy weekend and all that. Alright, so let's get a fucking bed, please. Thank you. Thank God. Tables, fireplaces. I can make a fireplace in there? That's gonna be so cozy. I love that. Glider. I need shroud wood and one more string. So let's go ahead and get this string. And then I need shroud wood, which, uh, undoubtedly, I've got to go into the shroud and break down some, like, dead trees and shit. Which should be fine, lads. Uh, but for the time being. Yeah, for the time being. I'm going to put our bed upstairs. Right next to the fire. Can I sleep? I'm going to sleep overnight. Yeah. Yeah. We can go out into the shroud in the in the morning time, lads. 
Ah, morning. Thank goodness. Travel through the shroud. Uh, I do have my uh, grappling hook now, so I am going to try and bypass those... Uh, what's it called? Those marauders we saw earlier. That's mad lads. Absolute mad lads. Yeah, look at these bad... Bad boys. Bad guys. Hiya! I've actually gotten really good at uh, archery in this game, which is uh, pretty impressive considering my aim is dog shit, as many of you know. Uh, but yes, I'm very excited, lads. Very excited to be playing this game again. Oh, God. Ooh. Very nice. Not bad. Uh, I need my axe out, yes? Yeah, my axe, so I can cut down trees. Is there, uh, like, dead trees around here within this neck of the shroud, I suppose? Oh, a dead wolf. Nice, I got some grilled wolf meat. Or, it will be grilled by the time I'm done with it, I suppose. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any trees in this area, which kind of sucks. Uh, obviously none of these are going to work. And I doubt this is a tree. Yeah, it's just some twigs. Um, so we're gonna have to do a bit of traveling until we can find some, uh, some shroud wood. I believe these are, like, flint pockets. Getting dirt. Flintstone, yeah, see? Nice. Very cool. I love how I'm digging just straight into the dirt. So next episode, I want to, you know, play around with the idea of, like, instead of building up and exploring out and everything like that, what if we built downward like a dwarf into the ground? I feel like that would be pretty interesting. Anyway, lads. Look at our house in all its glory in the daytime. It looks pretty good. A firefly. Nice. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It's a it's a nice basic little house. I plan on doing some major expansions uh, to it. Hopefully there's a there's a method that I can like replace some of the building tiles with like different materials. Uh, cause I, w I really would like to replace a lot of this with stone to make it a little more sturdy, but it's something we gotta figure out as the game goes along, lads. Actually, you know, before we go back out exploring, I am gonna return home and build, like, a, a couple of crates or chests or something, and then drop off some, uh, some of this excess inventory. All right, time to go and find the sleeping survivor. Pick up some more resources along the way, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. But now we're uh, pretty stocked up on food, medicine, water, and uh, and weapons and everything like that. So now we can be on our way. Yeah, to that tower, that menacing looking tower. All right, now that we have the grappling hook, we're actually gonna go this way instead, lads. We might stop by down here, just so we can find uh, some, you know, some shroud shit. Some shroud wood. Not shroud twigs. That's a shame. Here we go. Hoping one of these might be like a shroud tree. Yeah, shroud wood. Very nice. Spiritual cane at alchemist. Interesting. Shroud liquid. Nice. Shroud wood block. Oh man, I can make a shroud house. Ain't that some shit? Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, fuck. Hello, buddies. Yeah, eat it. I got another ring. Cool. I am the Lord of the Rings. Aha. Yeah, I saw you this time, you son of a bitch. Oh, he's gonna run through me. That's crazy. I might need to change up my uh, my my buttons just a tad bit. 
because I keep hitting alt to try and like dodge roll and it's uh left control which is a little hard for my my pinky to reach you know anyway I don't want to hang out too much in the shroud so let, let's head back up see if we can't be on our way undoubtedly there's gonna be more enemies without a doubt but I'm hoping this time I might be a little more prepared for them you know yeah because the marauders are off this way like on the you know far side yeah there's their camp and they had archers over there too which makes me a little nervous but hopefully I need not uh hey look arrows Chingo the arrows nice Yeah, poor Captain Arkwright and his men were, uh... Damn it. There we go. Yeah, poor Captain Arkwright and his men were undoubtedly under assault by these, uh, these marauders. Damn, dude's got... It. Oh, I thought he had an axe in him. That's crazy. Alright. That was dangerous. That had the potential to be dangerous, I should say. So we're getting some stuff done though lads i'm actually uh, really excited i know i keep saying that but it's true like this game is pretty fucking cool it's pretty intense it's such a basic concept too look at this this used to be a, a ballista that's crazy god damn is that a chest down there hold on let's take a look see oh no i thought this was a chest down here i see that i'm just tripping dude had a grenade on him jesus nice not bad i'm getting nervous lads the closer we get the more nervous i get not entirely sure why oh i don't know how i feel about this aha here we go yeah, you can swing across some chasms using a grappling hook. Be on the lookout for these places. Cool. Yeah, that was cool. These are, uh... Oh, badass. Yeah, that's pretty cool, dude. I wonder if I can't, like... Oh, I can just break them, but I can't, I can't really do anything with them after that. That sucks. I wish I could, like, pick them up and take them, you know? But alas, it is what it is. This threat's nearby. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, little bitch. Damn, he popped off a shot on me, though. Damn. These, uh, these marauders, they don't drop a whole lot of, like, good loot, loot do they? Kind of sucks. Scrap metal. Can I not break this? Oh, Jesus. That had the potential to be really, really bad. Really, really bad. Alright, let me uh, let me stop by here. This is going to basically tell me if there's threats nearby. It doesn't look like it this time. Alright, so we've made it across the bridge at the very least. So at least there's that. Alright, there's two paths. One that kind of diverges off to the right yeah one to the east or northeast i suppose and then one to the west but the west is in our actual direction hold on that was a cool looking shot yeah that's that's pretty cool this game is very good looking unfortunately for me the sun is going down so it's about to look a lot less good <laughs> god yeah, there's going to be more marauders around here. And I'm not entirely ready for that. Bushes can conceal you. Oh shit, I didn't realize there was fucking somebody right there. No, get up! Oh, you son of a bitch! No ammo. Oh, 
<laughs> oh shit! Oh damn, the bees, they hate me. He's most likely not going to be the last one. Oh man, look, they're they're trying to harvest these things or they're doing something with these guys. Damn, how many ember or how many flameborn were killed by these uh these fucking marauders, man? That's awful. I wonder what's been going on. What have they been uh trying to accomplish here? Another failure by Balthazar. Let's climb up here find out hey. hey look more reading eureka by balthazar very nice the ancients and the flame two more explosive powder balls hell yeah dude We're gonna eat a little bit. It's gonna help us out. Oh. No ammo. Oh shit. I didn't realize I ran out of fucking ammunition, dude. That sucks. Shit. Ho ho ho. I know your tricks now, buddy boy. Yeah. Oh. Yo. Provisional scythe. That's awesome. Not bad. Give me dual wielding in this uh, in this game. That would be cool. I don't know. I heard there's a lot of different builds you can try in this game. And you know me. Like, always, always, always going for a, uh, a knight build and everything like that. So I'm thinking like maybe a one-handed sword and a shield or one-handed weapon in general, you know. I would love to use like hammers, maybe a two-handed uh a two-handed sword at some point. That'd be really cool too. Oh look, more bad guys. Or a bad guy is close. Oh, oh, roll away. Dude. Come on, dude, run. Jesus, please. Ho oh, 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 ho oh. ho. That was way too close. Way too close for comfort. Jesus. All right. Let's cool ourselves down a bit, lads. Heal ourselves up. Can't believe I'm out of fucking ammunition, dude. That sucks. That really sucks. Uh, let me go to crafting then. See if I can't... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Makes an ass load of fucking arrows now. 140 of them. There we go. Much better. Repair equipment. Oh, perfect. Gang shit, dude. I'm going to do it again. Just because. Yeah. Nice. Very nice, lads. Yeah, see, things are things are already looking up for us. Maybe I should use a bandage. Oh, did I not equip any of my bandages, bro? I'm going to be so mad at myself. There's no shot I forgot to pack my fucking bandages. Or do I not? Do I just, like, not have any? That kind of sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm going to delete these. Don't really need those. Yeah, I I don't know if I can craft bandages. I can. <laughs> Never mind, lads. Direct use. Uh, it gives me one of them. We're gonna go ahead and use it. Yeah, see, that's much better. Good amount of healing getting done. Excelente. I like that. You 
You guys heard the whispering too, right? It wasn't just me? Alright then. Alright, looks like we found it. Awaken the survivor, Oswald Anders the blacksmith. I got a summoning staff. Fur chest and 16 more at the blacksmith. Hell yeah, dude. So he he's essentially gonna unlock a lot of shit for us. <sighs> ah, fucking lock picks. Alright, hold on. Can I make a lock pick? I can. I can make several lock picks. Can I try to unlock this better? Gang shit, bro. A metal star mate. Bruh. That's epic. Oh, man. I, uh, speak and ye shall receive, dude. That's crazy. Very epic. Venture forth by Balthazar. Very cool. Yeah, not bad, dude. Very not bad. Whoosh. It's very slow. It is very slow. That's fast. I think that's faster. Oh, no. Oh, it's all, it's all at the same speed. That's pretty cool, though. I like this. God damn. I feel like Sauron right now. Or like the, uh, yeah, I feel like Sauron. That's, that's absolutely insane, man. Ah, crazy. Bridge construction report. Love letter to Queen Queen Jasmina. I had no idea. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This map is huge. That's crazy. Uh Cinder Vault, Long Keep. Yeah, let's head home. Fast travel. Oh, perfect timing. You got dark fast as shit. That's crazy. Whew. Mmm. Not bad, lads. Not bad. We're going to take some much-needed rest real quick. Yeah, go ahead and sleep it off. Oh, the Lord Commander indeed, lads. And now we have a blacksmith of our own. We're going to have to build them some blacksmithing quarters. That's going to be fucking cool, dude. So a little bit of uh, a little bit of extra like uh, crafting and building and everything. And then I think we will end this episode for sure. Uh, but we're going to we're going to get some proper like blacksmithing quarters. Oh my, oh my campfire blew out. That bites ass. All right, understood. I I understand now. Commune with the flame. This survival will be a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with the summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Lovely. Thank you. All right, we shall do that indeed. Uh, allow me to place some weapons. Uh, in my inventory. Uh, we're going to equip this bad boy. We're going to... I'm going to keep the scythe. And I think I'm going to keep one sword. Yeah. Construction hammer. And all my healing agents will move aside. My wand will keep. Uh, even though we don't really use it all that much. Um... We'll do something like this. We don't really need the ranged weapons to be in our main, you know, our main thing here. So we're going to go, you know, light, medium, heavy, sort of. So sword, scythe, and then hammer. Even though I, I really only intend on using the hammer for the most part. Uh, all of our healing agents, yes. Maybe I should get rid of some of this stuff. Or not get rid of it, but like put it in my inventory. Like our, our wand, don't really use that. 140 arrows definitely use those uh, Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get rid of the sword I think Hold on to that bad boy. We'll keep these here Yeah, and then we could start to drop off the rest of our uh, Components and whatnot Should be fine Cool, so I picked up all of my crafting shit, which is fine. And now we can start to build some shit. The glider. 
manual crafting. Summoning staff. Lovely. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, let's go here and move all this shit around a little bit more. Excellent. Very excellent. Yeah, let's place Oswald. Don't worry, lad. We're going to get you some proper quarters in just a moment. Hey! hey. Talk and craft. Speak up. Speak up. Very nice. Uh, can I craft with you? A charcoal kiln, a forge, some nails, a better pickaxe, felling axes, a lockpick, spiked club, not bad. Scrappy sword. Fur armor. Yeah, we need we need lots of string. Because I think we might have enough uh, of the rest of the components to actually get a full set of armor. We just need hella string. Uh, some dishes. Not really worried about dishes for now. Enhance equipment. <gasps> All upgrades from your backpack and action bar are listed here. Upgradable items, sorry. Plus two attribute points. Plus two cutting damage. Enhancing item unlocks new perks. Each perk costs runes. Gather runes to salvage weapons by salvaging weapons and other equipments. Cool. Plus two piercing damage. Plus two cutting damage. Interesting. It's crazy because the, the Metal Star Mace definitely has like the best uh, stats so far. Piercing. Blunt. Uh, well, I mean, the piercing damage on the provisional scythe is uh, pretty... Uh, pretty not bad as well anyway uh crafting curse here <sighs> ember veil can still be saved where there's ash there's embers kid the shrouds the, hello the shroud the shroud suffocates the valleys so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the roots of our misery ignite the depths yeah the depths <laughs> and set this evil ablaze go on i'm counting on you flame born cool well rested. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Crafting first gear. Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. And they call you Flameborn. First things first, you need is equipment. Oh wait. First thing you need is equip. First thing you need is equipment. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword, a, p a spiked club, or some armor will serve us well. Lovely. Never let the cold die. Cool. Sorry, that that accent never gets easier to do. But my God, I will never. Uh... You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. Lovely. Do you still need to talk to me, lad? No? Oh, we're just we're just crafting. That's fine. Um, I do want to build him some proper quarters. Like 100%, I want to do that for him. So, let's whip this bad boy out and get to uh, building, lads. Very nice. All right. So. Never force it. Just get a bigger hammer. You're damn right. So, here we are. The official blacksmith's quarters. Super not bad. I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. Uh, it is right on the uh, the quarter, the corner, sorry, of my territories, however. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of, you know, we're just kind of barely kissing that line, you know. It's nothing too crazy, but I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. And then, uh, you know, he just, he loves it. He loves it. He's got a little, you know, little cooking area. Obviously, his forge, the crafting benches here, and the, uh, you know, the, the kiln as well. We have a lot of charcoal. I like that. Uh, I will gladly take all of this charcoal from you, actually, because then I'm going to put it over here to turn the rest of my uh, scrap metal into uh, metal sheets, because that metal sheet is what's going to turn our armor into the rising fighter set. Yeah, not bad. We need resin, though. Like, I don't know where to get resin at. I might have to do some, some research, if I'm being honest, because I, I definitely need some resin. But, for the time being, yeah, I think I can... Oh, I need metal scraps. Damn it. I did this to myself. Yeah, I need one, three, five total. That sucks. Break a leg. Oh, 
several. Or several. Yeah, I need five metal scraps in order to make the rest of this armor, which sucks. So I'm gonna have to go out finding some. I might I might end up doing that like off screen or whatever, off stream. Well there we have it, lads. The uh the sun sets on another beautiful day here in the the lands of Embervale. And my god, what an adventure it's been so far. This is definitely a fun one. Uh, so again, I, I really do hope we get to do a part two for this episode or for this, you know, for this game and everything like that. So if you would like for me to keep going, then please drop a like on today's video because it means the absolute world to me. And honestly, it's been such a great adventure, but it would be even better if I had my allies with me side by side, fighting against the forces of the Shroud, pushing out the darkness from the lands of Embervale. So if you would like to uh, to join me on an adventure, please let me know. And uh, hopefully we can jump in together in a game or two and you guys can help me rebuild the lands of Embervale and everything like that. But until next time, lads, always remember honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I, your Lord Commander, will see you in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my flameborn.